Hi, this is Adam Krebs with ZuneThoughts.com, and today we're going to show you how to make the first generation Zune dock work with the second generation Zune 80. Now, uh, in the second generation dock, they have a plastic insert here, which allows you to remove it and place, for example, the uh, first generation 30 gig player in the slot. There we go. Um, Though with the first generation, obviously the Zune 80 didn't exist at the time, so it only will fit the Zune 30s. Um, this is uh, the main reason why the Zune 80 won't fit in the first generation dock is if you see the positioning of the um, of the dock connector here, it's too close to the um, and if you see the comparative positioning of the Zune 80 dock connector here and the Zune 30 dock connector here. Um, the uh, 80 dock connector is too close to the front and leaves too much space in the back. Now, if you have a first generation Zune dock kit or uh, are planning on purchasing one, uh, they're $20 on buy.com uh, currently, uh, what you want to do is you want to pull out the face plate of, um, of the uh, Zune dock connector right here. You can accomplish this by using a flat uh, object, such as a screwdriver or a butter knife here, and there's a little uh, slit right in here that you're going to want to place the butter knife in and just pry it out. It might be a little sticky at first. You see this? It's fake metal. And then you can place your Zune 80 in the dock. It'll be a little bit of a snug fit, but it works. And that's it.